Justin Kanishiro, aka Bone, DJ Bone on K2H, Got Right Show. Basically, I've been a DJ at K2H for far too long. Coming up to 10 years, actually. About two to three years ago, I came to, I started coming to Tropics, met Pat and the crew here, you know, everybody's been very cool, very nice. Um, the vibe here was great. This is before they did the renovations. Place was actually like a lunch, luncheon, you know, luncheon bar, lunch in the daytime, bar at night, and then best food I had in you know a long time so you know made friends with everybody and you know Pat was like oh you know we'd be down to, he heard what I did and it's like oh we'd be down to have some hip hop here. Hip hop at the traps we uh, I tried to pattern after like the reggae shows that they do here. They have about two or three groups. Um, I do about two or three groups of hip hop. Um, local flavor usually, usually a bunch of local heads come through. Um, we'll throw down we'll have a DJ careless one or cozy also revised we'll throw down Play some beats, um, chill atmosphere, come down, check out some live hip hop, about three acts, and sometimes the cypher will go on. Sometimes guys like Big Mox, uh, let's see, uh, Kealoha from Lost at Sea, uh, TKO, everybody knows, you know, guys like that will come through, start uh, freestyling, and ciphering out for like in half an hour, hour, you know, something as long as they like, you know. Basically, it's for the for the hip hop community in Hawaii. Technically, it's a monthly, um, sometimes a bi monthly, in other words, uh, two times per month. We'll do it some Saturdays, mostly Fridays, though. It's generally been a Friday show. Uh, me and Pat just kind of work out the, uh, you know, work out the details, whatever Friday he has open, you know, I usually take. As long as, you know, we try to stay away from other promotions and things like that, especially, you know, concerts and things. So, you know, we used to actually hang out at a warehouse off uh, Sand Island Access Road, Careless, Careless One, he owns, the, or like, his family owns, the, or like, you know, they have the business out there, that's where he keeps all his equipment, so we used to kick it there, and you know, play, play, uh, you know, he used to crack his scratching, he used to just kick it, some MCs would come through, we drink and party, and you know, they'd freestyle and stuff, and I was like, hey, why not just move the party from there and over here, you know? What's the biggest challenge for you, you know, as a, as a promoter? Challenge? Um, trying having the foresight, and I really don't like to mix, as in like you know, say like there's a hip hop show going on pipeline, uh, or like some dope show going on in Chinatown, or like another event. I really don't like having it at the same time. It's taking away from our show. It's taking away from their show. Why not? You know, just you know, have one big show at that time. You know, and it's hard to predict when these shows are gonna happen. Um, that's to me one of the hardest things. Another hard thing is getting word out. Of course, that's in general. You know, there's almost so much websites and flyers and newspapers and things that people go through. You know, and the other thing is definitely lining up the acts. We have a, there's a lot of acts, but there's only so many. So you know, I find myself sometimes running out of acts. Sometimes and always trying to, but it keeps me on my toes. You know, trying to look for the new thing coming out. New, new guys coming out. You guys want to shine. You know, try to try to get them on stage and see, you know see how they do. Expect a dope hip hop show. We're gonna have it's gonna be our first battle here, first MC battle. So, um, you can expect the dopest MCs from Boy to come out. You know, cash prize. Um, what else we got? We got about nine or ten acts throwing it down. Murder Mainstream closing out the night with their set. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna get Cypher going after the MC battle, you know, kind of smooth things out and things like that. But, um, you know, just, just, just dope hip hop night. We're gonna have Audible Lab Rats, Creek Chameleon. Perfect media, nip on the mic, Yellow Hill Society. Um, who else I got here? Let's, you know, I gotta look. There's so much. Amen. You know, round the old man, Grip H from Perfect Media is gonna come on down. And uh, of course, no master backs. You know, I haven't seen them in a grip. They're one of my favorite acts, uh, hip hop acts, where, you know, coming up. And, you know, I'm just so happy and blessed that, they're, that everybody decided, yeah, you know, let's do the show. Let's come together and just do the show. You know, we're down. <laughs>